After a couple of weeks the Sandwall PC is going back in museum. Uh, it's got a new boot drive, it's going to have some more memory, it's got a new network card, uh, most importantly it's now running 64-bit Windows 7 instead of 32-bit XP and it's getting a new output stage so it can talk to some more amplifiers and get a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, so the software is about ready to roll in its first incarnation um, and what you'll find when you get to the sound wall is a folder full of stuff. Uh, first one you can ignore which is the source code, which leave all that alone. Next one is a bunch of plugins which we'll add to over time as to depending on what's required. All the projects will live in here depending on whether they're done in Reaper, Live, Nuendo or whatever other hosts we end up using. A bunch of snapshots which uh, allow the MIDI configuration to be switched about. Basically every host has got a generic remote control interface or a Mackie control interface and that's about being able to target each different host. And so then we get to the good stuff in the timer folder. And in here we'll find the main timer app. At the moment it's set up with not a lot happening. Um, what will happen is the machine itself will turn itself on at 9.30 every morning and it will sit there idling for a while. And then on the daily schedule it will run a command to set itself up ready for that day's playback. Um, and then throughout the day we can tell it play, stop, rewind and so on. And then at the end of the day, again on the daily setting, it's going to pull the software down and shut the system down. Uh, to set the whole thing running, it won't do anything right now, but to set the whole thing running we just tick that box. Uh, and now it's waiting three and a half hours until the next event, which it triggers off, which will attempt to close everything down and then shut the system down. Okay, so, um, commands can be found inside the commands folder separated into the different hosts we've got. So we've got a bunch of commands we can drag and drop into the interface depending on, like I say, whether it's Nuendo or Reaper or Live or VLC for playing back CDs or um, Stereo. We've also got uh, a bunch of different sets. So let's uh, say that I want to start a new setup, so I'll take a blank set I'll just literally copy and paste it. In that folder there's a text file for every day of the week and one for the dailies. So I'll rename that to DAS. And then to access that I just drag and drop it into the bottom right here. And that's now a blank set. Not a lot happening. In fact nothing happening. So what we would need to do to set this up is come back to the time folder and go into the macros folder. Now in here I can drag in a convoluted command. So let's see, I want to, in my theoretical artwork, play from Nuendo. So I'm going to ready the platform for Nuendo at 9.45 in the morning. And what this does is inside each of these macro files is a list of commands. And so this one will now it loads up the MIDI setup, it loads up Reaper, it then loads up Nuendo with the file that I want to play back for the day. At the end of the day I can tell it to quit everything, so drop that into there, which would, would be about 16.05, so 5 plus 4, and then after that, say 10 minutes later, 16, 15, it would shut the computer down. Now, these tick boxes down the side here show that the event is active. So when I tick this, we've now got three events pending, and the next one's in three and a half hours from now, uh, which would be to pull the software down and set it back up again. Okay, so just to demo that, we've got. Uh, set up here which is to ready for SEMO and what will happen is similar to this we load MIDI which then loads 
its MIDI setup to allow us to target the host. Reaper then loads up with the sound spiral panner so that we can target the hardware. Nuendo then loads up and starts to load the project. Once that's finished, we're done. And so, as you can see, the timer is just going to sit idle until we get the event at the end of the day to pull it down. So, what we would then do is come back to our timer commands for Nuendo, and we would say, at some point in time, go to marker 1 and play. At some point later in time, stop, and then later in the day, go back to marker 1 and then play. Now that's going to happen every day at whatever times we put in here. Now let's see, go to marker 1 is already set and play now. You can see the green line on the transport sets the transport playing. And the same with stopping. I'm just about out of battery so I'm just going to uh, pull this down again. So at the end of the day, 5 past 4 system takes down all the software ready to go. And that is all automatically saved so that as long as we shut the machine down with this tick box ticked, whenever it wakes up tomorrow it's going to repeat that and the following day and the following day and the following day until we untick this box which deactivates the timer and puts us back in programming mode. Uh, I mentioned earlier VLC very quickly, so if I come back into the timer macros, I can then set it up ready platform to play from CD, which will do a slightly different thing. Again, it will give us MIDI aux, but this time with Reaper set up, so we can now remote control Reaper, which gives us a volume control, and now we've got VLC loaded and it's playing off the CD that we've put into the machine. Uh, what we can also do uh, is tell it, uh, instead of getting ready to play from CD, we can tell it to play from stereo as well. So again, this loads up Reaper to do the distribution, MIDI aux to give us some remote control over Reaper, and VLC to do the playback. Um, but what we can also do is navigate to where we've got a bunch of audio files uh, in here, and grab the audio files we want, drop them on, and as soon as we hit test here, or as soon as the timer kicks in, they end up getting enqueued into the playlist. So, as soon as we find the relevant macro, for play, stereo play, go there. So yeah, we can now play multiple different projects every day. We can play music off CD distributed across the wall and we can play different playlists of whatever uh, material comes in, whether it's designed specifically for the wall or not we can easily distribute it about to where we need it. So in this instance, stereo will appear, roughly speaking, left and right, where we want it. So this is going to go into the museum this afternoon with the machine. And in the next couple of days, we'll look at uh, bringing it back up properly and testing it, seeing what bits fall over, what bits need a bit of attention. New amps should be arriving in the next week or so with uh, also some subs coming later in the month if not early in April and then the sound will, will be up to a full 22.2 that it was designed to be uh, 10 years ago and never quite got there. Um, so quite excited about that. We'll get it up to what it should initially have been. So for now, I'm going to hit this button, and that brings us back down to where we started, with nothing happening. Okay, uh, that's me, see you later.